Dior Johnson, without a doubt, is one of the most exciting point guards in all of high school basketball. And it's not only for point guards, he's one of the most exciting players in general. He's also regarded as one of the top players in high school basketball, and that's for very good reason. As you guys may or may not know, he loves to trash talk and let his opponents know how good he is. And if there's been high school beef or drama, he's been in every bit of it. But however, we really haven't heard too much out of this guy in a while, and it's not just a coincidence, there's a reason. And in this video, we are going to dive deep into detail of what's going on with Johnson. So if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button, join the family, and leave a like for more. And without further ado, let's get straight into it. I know most of you that keep up with Johnson are going to know this, but there's some people that don't know, so I got to inform them. Basically, when he was growing up and playing basketball, he started to get a lot of hate. And instead of giving into the hate, he actually loved it and thrived off the energy. And he started referring to himself as the quote-unquote most hated. And it didn't take long for his fans to pick up on it and start saying that as well. So you get it. Long story short, he loves the role of the villain. He even has most hated tattooed on his legs. If that's not enough proof of how much he loves being a villain, I don't know what is. And if you've been keeping up with the channel for a minute now, now you already know Dior Johnson loves talking trash to people online. He doesn't just do it in the games, he's notorious for talking smack all over the internet. He's had beef with Mikey, Bronny, and almost every top player. Not crazy beef, but he loves starting stuff. You know those people who always have something to say? That's Dior Johnson. The best word I can use to describe this guy is an instigator. And like I stated, I really think he likes all the drama and the attention. For a guy who's always in the headlines, we really haven't heard anything from him in a while. And I took notice on how he's not talking or saying anything on social media media, but there's actually a reason. He has a lot of fans, so don't get me wrong, but he also has a lot of haters. Starting on July 26 on Instagram, he deleted his comment section. He put it back on for a couple more pictures, but he made it to where it's a private comment section, so only people that he lets follow him or he follows can comment. My fault, my fault. I said let's follow him. No, I mean people he lets comment. And he's very active on social media, but he hasn't posted a picture since August 6th. But like I said, I didn't even think too much about it because I really don't keep up with him that much. But late in August, I saw he changed his bio to fully focused. And of course he still has most hated in there. And I know what you're sitting there thinking, yo Matt, you're tripping, this isn't a big deal and that's all there is to it. But just hear me out and watch what I'm about to throw up on the screen. It's not just a coincidence he hasn't posted in a month. He put a poll up on his Instagram where people can slide up and ask him questions. Keep in mind, four weeks ago was roughly when his last post was. One question said you're a cocky a-hole and you think it's confident. I think that's why no one likes you. And you already know he was not going to let this slide and he was going to speak his mind. So here's what he said. It's kind of long so I'm gonna zoom in on it and just read the main points. He said see now this would have got an average mindset like you upset. Just made me laugh like you told jokes all morning. This is a perfect example of a hater lol. We just went over this. You ain't even know me lol. Before I continue to read that's one thing I want to touch on. You can't even hate on a person if you don't know them. That's just that's just dumb, man. And a little motivational mat in the building for you guys. I just want to say, I've already said it before, but I'm going to say it again. You throwing shade on someone else does not make you shine. You literally get nothing from hating on someone. So don't even bother to do it. Just worry about yourself. Anyways, let's continue on with what Dior said. This is a perfect example of how you let people's negative comments get to you. See, now this person made my morning better. He got me waking up laughing. I ain't even going to lie. Most of the time, I get a kick out of it. Ask my teammates about Dior Dior. Bet they'll all say I'm different cooler than 10 ice pops. And I ain't here to be liked for sure, so make me laugh some more. Man oh man, did Dior speak his mind and go off on the poor dude? Keep in mind, he really didn't say anything bad about the person who said the comment. He was just defending himself. The only advice I would even have for him is to not even reply to the hate because that's what they want you to do to feed into it. But he's still young and maturing and learning to do that. Right after that, he got another question and it said, why do you embrace the hate? He basically just repeated himself, but I'ma still read it for you guys. Told you I get a kick out of it. Even when someone hating on someone else and I can just see it. It'd be funny to me. It's funny to me. It just makes me laugh. Who don't like to laugh? Everyone reacts differently. I know I didn't read it word for word. I just summed it up because what he said made no sense. So stick in school, my guy. Then only a week later, he posted this. Life better alone. Less people, more people. Make sure it's peaceful. Right after that, he posted block out the world's noise and keep it stepping in the direction of your success. Hashtag mental things. And that's the last thing he posted on Instagram for three to four weeks. And like I said, remember, he hasn't posted in three or four weeks. I didn't think it was a big deal until last night. I saw that he posted on his story on Instagram for the first time since a month. Unfortunately, I don't have the screenshot. He deleted it, but I sort of remember what he said. I guess they shut down practice and games for the school he's at, but he said they can't do basketball, so for now, he's still gonna be on Instagram. And the reason he hasn't been on Instagram is because he's locking in, and when they're playing, he's not gonna be on it. I wish I had the screenshot, but you're just gonna have to take my word for it. He posted like three or four black pictures just writing on it, and the last one really caught my attention. He said, I'm not back for good, so don't get it mixed up. As soon as basketball starts again, I'm fully 
locked in. And then somewhere in the middle of that, he said once basketball starts, he's off Instagram. So basically, if you don't understand what I said, let me explain it for you a little simply. He's kind of doing the LeBron thing for whenever it's playoffs, LeBron don't post on Instagram. I think what LeBron said was something like dark 30 or zero dark 30. I don't know. He said something like that for his quote. And what Dior Johnson is calling it is hashtag fully focused. I think he decided to do this for two main reasons. Reason number one is because he gets a ton of hate and I think he's just tired of seeing it. So him being off Instagram and limiting the comment section and not posting will be less hate for him. And reason number two is that it will improve his basketball game. If he's not posting on Instagram and worried about drama, he can fully focus on basketball like he says. So yeah, it's kind of simple when you really think about it, but I do think it's fairly interesting. And I understand this kid gets a lot of hate, but I gotta say, I really like him. He's confident in his abilities and if someone hates on him, he just laughs at him. I do gotta say though, I think it gets to him. Even though he says it doesn't, I really do think it is. And like I've stated multiple times, we don't condone any hate on this channel. I want everybody to be great and be successful. And so should all of you. You need to lift everyone up you come into contact with. So in the comment section, I don't want to see any D or slander or hate whatsoever. My man out here trying to be great and all y'all do is tear him down. I kind of get where people are coming from. They're like, oh, this kid's way too cocky. Here's the thing in life. People are always going to be mad at you no matter what you do. So you might as well do what you want. As a hooper, you already know you got to be confident and have that swagger mentality out on the court. If you don't, people are just going to walk all over you and pick on you. People in life will tell you to be confident, but once you're confident, they'll be like, oh, he's way too cocky. I don't even know what to say about it besides it's messed up. Is Dior Johnson a little too overconfident? Probably, but here's my thing. He can back it up. He's one of the top high school players in the world. The only way it should be a problem is if somebody talks trash and they're just terrible at the game. That's not the case though. This kid can seriously hoop. So yeah, it's about time we just leave this guy alone and give him some credit. And honestly, I think it may be too late for that. And I just want to say one thing. All I'm going to say is you better hope you don't play Dior Johnson in this up and coming season. You thought he was coming for blood last year and talking trash? I can't imagine what he's going to do this year. He's received so much hate, it's just building up inside him. So whenever he can play, he's going to unleash it all. Hey man, I'm excited for it. I really am. I hope Dior goes out there and balls out. I already know what's going to happen. First game, Timothy's going to be guarding him. He's going to snap his ankles and dunk on somebody. I'm calling it right now. Dior's going off for 35 plus in his first game. Timothy going to be shaking out there. He ain't going to know what to do. And see, I feel bad. I really do because Timothy don't even know why Dior's so mad. Everyone hating on Johnson though, he's not going to take it out on them. He's going to take it out on whoever is guarding him. Yeah, so RIP all the little Timothys that's going to be guarding him. Hey man, with all this being said, that's about going to wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys learned something. If you're new to the channel, what are you doing? Join the family. Hit that subscribe button and leave a like for more. And as always, let's be great. It's Matt Timber, baby. I'm out, y'all. Peace. Oh yeah, guys, if you're still here and listening to me, hey man, that's what's up, you rocking with me to the end of the video. And one thing I want to add, go show me some love on Instagram, man, it's free to follow me. If you're really rocking with me, hit me a follow and I'm going to show you some love and like all your pictures back. Whenever I hit 8,000 followers on Instagram, I'm going to post a picture. Y'all know what to do, go show me some love. It's Matthew underscore X9. I love you guys, thank you for all the support and let's be great.